Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to have a look at Yesterday by the Beatles. This appeared on the 1965 album Help, and although it appeared on a Beatles album, it was really a solo project by Paul McCartney. He wrote the song, played the guitar, and sang on the record. Uh, the song also featured a, a string quartet, but Paul McCartney was the only member of the band who was involved in the song. Now, there's a couple of things we need to talk about. Uh, first of all, if you want to play along with the original, you're going to need to detune your guitar. Okay, so all of the strings need to be dropped down by one whole tone. Okay, so our low E string is now going to become a D. Our A string is going to become a G. The D string drops down to a C. The G string drops down to an F. The B string drops down to an A. And then finally, the top E string also drops down to a D. Okay, so all this means then that whenever I play a chord, if I play, say, a what looks like a G chord, it's no longer actually going to be a G chord, it's going to be an F chord. But for simplicity, I'm going to call it a G chord. So throughout the lesson, I will always call all the chords and notes that we use by their standard tuning names. Okay, the other thing then we need to discuss is the strumming stroke picking that is used throughout the song. Most of the song features this kind of thing. Now what I'm doing there is I'm using my thumb to play the bass note. So the bass notes will always be located on either the low E, the A or the D strings. And then I'm using my first finger, second finger and third finger to pluck the G string, the B string and then the top E. Now I think the way Paul McCartney actually does it is to do an up strum on the top three strings. So he'll still play that bass note with his thumb and then use one of his fingers to strum up on the top three strings. Now I'm going to be playing it with the plucking method. I think it sounds nicer, I think it sounds neater than strumming it. It can be more accurate. So that's the method I'm going to use, but the choice is really up to you. Whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you like the sound of. Uh, and also when you're doing the, the either the strumming or the plucking, try and use the fleshy part of your fingers to pluck the strings rather than your nails. For people like me who have long nails, this can be difficult because I keep my nails long for, for finger picking. Uh, but try and use the fleshy part because it creates a slightly softer sound, which is much more like the original recording. Okay then, so for the intro we need a G chord and we're going to play the four fingered version of the G here. So we're going to have our little finger, third fret on the top E string, third finger on the third fret of the uh, B string, the open G string, and we also are going to need the uh, second finger here on the third fret of the low E string. You can also put your first finger down on the second fret of the uh, A string, but you don't really need to because you're not going to be playing that string. So you have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so then I'm just going bass note, then three strokes, one, two, three, like that, bass note again, then three more strokes. Okay, so one and two and three and four and one more bar of that then, one and two and three and four and. So that's two bars in total for the intro. We then continue with this G chord into the first verse. We're going to go one and two and three and four and. Okay, so on the last and there we're going to open up and play an open low E string. We're again going to put down an F sharp minor chord. So this would normally be done as a bar chord, but again, you can cheat a bit in this one. So we can have, I usually play it with just my first finger barring across the uh, top three strings there, the G string, the B string, and the top E at the second fret. I then bring my thumb over to play the second fret of the low E. That's one way you could do it. You could just bar across the whole thing. I just, I don't know, I just found I've uh, got into the habit of doing it that way. So you're going to have one and two and then you're going to change to a B7 chord. So for this it's the uh, second fret of the top E string, open B, second fret of the G string and then the second fret of the A string. Okay, so that bar will be one and two and change to the B7. 3 and 4 and. 
Okay, we're then going to have an E minor chord. All we need to do is place our second finger down on the second fret of the D string. We're then going to play the top three strings open. So we're going to have one and two and. We're then going to go bass note again on the D string, pull the top three strings, then open up the D string, and then top three strings again. So that's one and two and three and four. We then go to a C major 7 chord. So this is just like a regular C chord, but with your first finger removed. So for the purposes of this song, we only really need to hold down the third fret of the A string and then play the top three strings open. So one and two and. We're then going to hold a D7 chord. So this is second fret, top string, first fret on the B string, second fret on the G string, and then the open D bass note. So three and four and okay so that whole bar one and two and three and four and okay we then return to our g chord i'm going to play this we're going to go one and two and three and four and okay so there what i'm doing is i'm starting off with the regular g shape playing bass then top three strings again bass again top three strings then I'm going to put my first finger down on the second fret of the low E string, play that on its own, and then I pull up, and I'm just pulling up there on the G string and the B string. So that gives you one and two and three and four and. Okay, we're then going to play an E minor chord, and because we don't need to play the A string or the D string, I'm not even going to hold any strings down for this, I'm just going to play open E, and then the top three strings then go to an A chord and all we're going to need for this is you can't play the whole A chord obviously but all we really need is the second fret of the G string second fret of the B string and then the open top E string so bass on the A string okay so that bar is one and two and three and four and okay we're then going to play a C chord Change back up to the G, play that two times, and then just playing the top three string, uh, the top three strings three times there at the end. So that bar will be one, two, and three, and four, and. Just give you that bar one more time. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay. So that completes the whole of the first verse then, so I'll give you all of that now slowly. Okay, we now come to the second verse then, and the second verse is much the same as the first verse but with a few variations. So we're going to start again here with our G chord in exactly the same way we did before. So it's open top string, then we're going to go to the F sharp minor again but we're going to put a slight variation on this, we're going to open up the top E string. So the way I've been playing this is to play the uh, little finger here on the second fret of the B string. Third, uh, third finger on the second fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the low E string, and we're also going to play the open top E string. Okay, we then go to our B7 chord. Okay, then the E minor in the same way as we did it before. C major 7. D7. G. Open up to the E minor. Okay, this is where we went for the A chord before, but this time I'm fairly certain I can hear uh, a G note giving us the uh, the A7. So very similar to before, but we add the little finger down on the third fret of the top E string for that G note there. Then go to the C, G. 
least that completes the second verse, so I'll just play through all of that slowly. Okay, so now we come to the uh, the bridge or the uh, the middle eight. Uh, we're going to start off with an F sharp minor again, but this time we're going to play it differently again. We're going to play using an added fourth. So we're going to have the open top E string. We're going to have an open B string. We're going to have second fret of the G string and second fret of the low E string. Then we go to a B7. Now we have this. So that is 2nd fret of the D string, and I'm playing that with just the open top E string. Now we swap that round, we're going to play 2nd fret of the top E string and open D string. Now we're going to play the 3rd fret of the A string and the 3rd fret of the top E. Slide that down 1 fret, so we've now got 2nd on the uh, A and the top E. And then open top E on its own. Okay, so slowly. Okay, we now go to an A minor chord. So all we need for this is the first fret of the uh, B string, second fret of the G string, the open A string and the open top E. We're now going to go to a D7. So all we need to do here is add the third finger to the second fret of the top uh, top E string and play from the open D bass. Okay, so that bar very simple. Turn to our G chord. Then we're going to go back to our F sharp minor with the added fourth. B7 again. And then this again. Okay, this time I'm fairly certain he plays an A minor 6 rather than the A minor. Could just play an A minor, it would work just as well. But uh, I think I'm hearing an A minor 6. So for this, uh, an A minor six would normally be an A minor shape with the little finger added to the uh, to the second fret of the top E string. For this, what we can do though is we can just play the same shape as we do for the D seven, but play with an A bass. So we play the A string, and then we go to the D seven. So all you have to do is to now play the open D bass, and then we finish off just by playing one stroke of the G. Okay, so for that last two bars there, we've got. Okay, so that completes the uh, the bridge. So I'll just play you through all of that slowly. Okay, then we now go into the th third verse. I'm not going to bother talking you through the third verse because it's exactly the same as the first verse. You then have the middle eight again, and again it's exactly the same as the uh, the middle eight we just looked at. And then finally a fourth verse, which again is exactly the same as the first verse. Uh, and then we come to the ending then, so there's a slight variation that we need to look at here then. So if you imagine we've just gone through all of the, uh, the verse progression, and we've just come to the end, we just played the C, the G. We have a two bar ending then, so what we do is we keep this shape, we keep playing the top three strings for one and two and. We're then going to drop on to, a, uh, to an A7 for three and four and. Okay, we then have this, we're going to play the first fret of the uh, B string there and the third fret of the top E string along with the open G. Okay, which would actually be, I don't know, it would be a G, uh, G sus2, wouldn't it? We're then going to place the second finger all the way up here onto the third fret of the um, E string to give us our G bass note. And we're then going to hammer on our third finger onto the third fret. So we're playing 
that hammer on. The first finger is already there on the on the first fret of the B, and we're hammering the third finger onto the third fret of the B. Okay, but we do that whilst playing the other notes of the chord. Okay, so I'll just play you through that slowly, and I'll come in from the final bar of the verse progression. So. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.